do you mean? Now, let me explain this to you real quick. This is for, this is for everybody to listen to. Everybody always has this perception that we shouldn't acknowledge America as being great. America started at a certain point and grew and become and came better over time. No country that you know of was 100% perfect at the foundation. No country. You, you no didn't answer my question. No country in the world. Afri no countries in Africa, no countries in Europe. You can name it. Everybody started at a certain point, and it became greater you, you over didn't time. Answer my question. Ever since you've been alive, America has been the greatest it's ever been. You think so? A hundred percent, brother. You can name somewhere else that's better than America. And why don't you live there? I'm not sure. You they, not, I know you're not sure because they don't exist. Where they show me somewhere else that's as, as as diverse as America, anywhere. As diverse. Pick, that's as diverse. What does diversity mean if? Opportunities if people are being for all against. people. Show me another country that give opportunities for all people like America. Do you does. think we have the same opportunity as everybody else, as Who, black people? Yeah, a hundred percent. With a two hundred year economic head start on us yeah, and no. What's stopping you now? Aren't you at this university? Yeah. You at the university just like all these white people. Mm -hmm. How's that any different? Can't you? I want you, you can, to go two no, blocks no, no, that no, way no, and tell me where that. they at. You can read. You can go to class. Mm -hmm. You can make good grades. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping that you make your straight A's. Mm -hmm. how, is, how is America stopping you from doing that? And well, how is it stopping, stopping you from being prosperous enough to go down the street and make a difference in your own community? How, how is America stopping you from doing Why that? Why is it my responsibility to, to make a difference in my community that was sabotaged from the start? I don't think. I don't, let, let's go back to the foundation. Do you think the C See, and this is why I'm very, very reluctant to send my kids to college just for the small chance that they could end up like this like this kid right here who's got an excuse for everything it's always the white man's fault cia planted uh drugs in our community they didn't make you sell it do you think they uh no 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 i agree they I, I, do you think I they burned down stories of black the businesses do you know let what me, black me, hollywood let's go, is let's go one at a time i've heard stories that the cia planted drugs in the inner city communities not every black community but in some, they still don't make you go and sell drugs to your brother, do they? Why are you not selling drugs right now? Because it doesn't make sense for you to do that. You have an opportunity to go to a university, get an education and make yourself better and make your family better in the next few generations. Uh -huh. Nobody's stopping us from doing that. I'm sitting on campus right you know, now and you know all these people are listening to me. You know what's stopping, what's stopping me? Money. It, I, well, in America, in America, what's stopping you from making money in America? What the fuck is not stopping us from making money? You what go the to the same university as all these white people. What, how you got a, di got a difference? Exactly. You said what? Excuse we're me? We're in debt. That's, what, that's, that's our fault. fault. <laughs> Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, right? Okay, I went to, I went. I we went, were never given boots went, to begin let's, with. Let's start with this. I actually went and graduated from a university. So I'm not a guy that didn't go to college. I, I, I had a full scholarship, <coughs> so I didn't pay for school in my undergrad. Graduate school, I paid for out of my pocket. I did not get a loan. I mean, I did not have to get loan forgiveness or nothing like that. I had $11,000 worth of debt and I paid it. How is that different than anybody else out here? Because everybody doesn't have the same that, opportunity. I'm black though. Why did, how did I pay my loan off and you can't? Or Where are you from? Wait, I'm from Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Dunbar High School. Fort Worth, right Texas. in the hood and stop six. It, right in the hood and stop six. How did I get to this point if America is against me? Well, different choices. There's a lot of people in my neighborhood that made it out because they made better choices. I could have sold drugs. I didn't. Why? Because I wanted something better out of my life. What do you say about the disproportionate wealth? Is, is that, okay. does that not matter? It, it's about culture. How much money do you save? I don't know. I'm in debt, bro. You're in debt. How much do you invest? I don't know. How did you get into debt? Who chose to come here? Me. Well, that's, you, you, you laid it out. Now, when you come here, for every college student here, this should be an investment into your future. Right. Anybody that know anything about making money knows that you have to invest to get to the next step. You may, listen, you may be in debt. You may be in debt to make an investment to get to the next step. So if you do this properly, this is a debt investment to make more money in the future. If you come here and clown around and take a major that won't put you anywhere, then you just got into debt for no doggone reason. It's a cultural thing. Black people in America don't have wealth like others because they choose not to, to generate wealth through investments and passing their money down. Who's teaching us to do this? We should teach each other to do it. You see, and that's how I know this guy right here is completely full of crap. Asking who's teaching us how to invest. 
Yet, when we take the black community as a whole, no one taught y'all how to impregnate women and make them baby mothers. No one taught y'all how to uh, commit check fraud against Chase. Y'all can figure out how to get ghost guns. Y'all can figure out how to get bullets. Y'all can figure out how to sell drugs. Y'all can figure out how to rob stores at the time of the night. Y'all can figure out how to find the trucks, truck routes, and rob those. But y'all can figure out how to invest. Y'all can figure out how to steal kids, but y'all can't figure out how to invest. See, the problem here is you make time and you do the work. You put in the work for what's important to you. Obviously, investing is not important to him, so he doesn't bother to go look up how to do it. And that's really what this comes down to. Why does somebody got to teach? You want the white man to teach us? Is that what you're saying? I mean, hell, teach us something. Okay, no, you could teach, you could teach something. You got a college, you could get into college education. When you have children, so, teach so, your so children. So basically help yourselves. We know we, we know you have this 200 year head start. It doesn't we've matter, bro. You don't you have from, nothing hey, to do with, you don't have nothing to do with that. Oh. You don't have nothing to do with that. I thought you said one at a time. You don't have nothing to do with that. I don't do have you? nothing to do with what? The 200 years that you're talking about. Yes, I do. Have you ever heard of generational trauma, generational wealth? You my have people don't own anything. Where my you people come, where own you come nothing. From? Where you How come can from? you build something when my people come from nothing? I come from South Memphis. And I come from Stop Six. Congratulations. Congratulations. I went to university. What does comparison mean? It what does comparison mean when, you, mean when statistics quick. say that we are behind? We are not behind. Some people are behind. We're not behind. Why? Because we make positive decisions. He not behind. He not behind. She not behind. Do I want to go point You're out on a, a college black campus? Does college guarantee a success? You're on a college it campus. Depends, it depends on what you do with, with what you have presented to you. You were born in wherever you were born at. Look at you now. What's the difference between you and other people that didn't choose? Opportunity. How, how did you get an opportunity that other people didn't? You were in debt, so you didn't have the money. You didn't have the money to pay my, for My it. parents didn't have much, but they had yeah. enough to keep me out the hood trying to make some money any way I can. I know yeah. people who okay. have no anything. They have to go out there. They're, they have no other choice. They have a horrible education. Do you know what the education system is like here? It's horrible. Okay, so let's explain it like this. I want to. I... So the education system is horrible, yet he's in college right now paying for it to learn this horrible education and obviously it really is horrible if this is the mindset he has talking about 200 years of being of slavery everyone else giving head start white people are the poorest people in this country so that's not an excuse at all this kid is as full of excuses and this college is probably making his brain rot i want to make sure we talk it on the same at the same level right so in america Every single person has an opportunity to do something with what they have in their hand. And we have I'm, nothing in our look, hands. Look, let That's me say the this. point. Let me say this. Let me say this. I believe wholeheartedly that God gives you a hand of cards to play. <laughs> Hear me out. God gives you Let, a hand. Hear me out. God gives you a hand of cards to play. Not everybody's hand is the same. What You can have a full deck of great cards and you play them poorly, you won't make it in life. You can have a bad hand. You play them strategically and you play them right, you'll do good in life. You had a not so good hand growing up where you grew up at. You made positive decisions that led you here. That's the hand you get, you've been dealt. Everybody don't have a freaking silver spoon in their mouth. America is but the we, only place. They proportionately Who do. is they? Everybody else, man. Everybody else like who? Are you saying white people? Brother, you, yes. in, you in the same situation as all these white people and you, and you play the victim. Am I? Yeah, and that's the thing. They only talk about black and white. But when you look at statistics as a whole, white people are not making the most of this country. It's people from continental Asia who came here to this country with nothing. I'm talking about Chinese, Japanese, and Indian people. They come here with nothing. They work their way up to do everything they're supposed to do. They have great work ethic, and they work harder than everyone else, and they make more than everyone else. Like people from continental Asia in this country make double what the average white person makes. Average single white person makes fifty thousand. The average Asian person makes a hundred thousand. Single person, not household. So this whole thing that he's talking about is bullshit. Straight up bullshit, man. You at the Am same I? university? Am I? What does the same university have to do with anything? You go to the same class. I had a four point. I had a four point three GPA in high school. I did what I was supposed what to you hit. Got now? I did what I was supposed to do. What's your GPA now? Three point six. Brother, what's holding you back then? 
That's the point. Everybody doesn't have a 3.6. Everybody is Did you just get a 3.6 because you woke up one day? You studied, didn't you? Right. No, I what? actually didn't. You didn't study. No. So then you have a gift that you can go and make a three-point something and don't even study. Right. Brother, I mean, I don't know. I think we're wasting our time talking to each other. The, the bottom line is that if you study, you work hard, you play the cards that you're dealt properly, you will be successful. This country makes more millionaires than anywhere in the world. You can talk. Oprah Winfrey came from nothing. Uh, 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 Tyler Perry came from nothing. I mean, you go down a list. You go down a list, brother. Why are you naming rich black people? I, because these are the Why people. Why are you naming well, what rich about me? black people? All right, me. You talking about, about me, me and you? I'm talking about everybody in the surrounding, everybody outside of this bubble. Listen, man. You 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 are you are a product of your decision making. You are an example that you can come from nothing and come a to the university. Product of your decision making when. The majority you, you of came from nothing and you're at the university. What are we saying? You came from nothing, you're at the university. Well, how about you go and teach other young men like you that grew up where you grew up how to do what you did to get here? Period. What's the problem in that? Well, come to the mic, please. Can you come to the mic? He want me off the mic. Come, no, no, you, it doesn't matter about recording. Can you come to the mic so we can hear your question? Please. Come on. Come on, we, we no, can it's, it's the so mic. we can get the audio in. We can double team the Come mic. To, we can double team the mic. Just, well, just it's ask okay. the question, and I'll try to answer your question. Hold on one second. What's your question? How does everyone have an opportunity when systematically the U.S. has multiple inequities within? What inequities? Can you explain one? What, wait a minute. Inequities in education, what, what does that mean? Are you, do you consider yourself a minority? I do. Is the country against you? But it's not. You're here. You, t you did what you're supposed to do to get here. You. That's what it's about, individuality. You. If you do what you need to do, you'll be here. You as in everybody on this campus. Listen, some people grow up in a, in a terrible environment. Can we agree? Some people in that terrible environment make positive decisions to get out of that environment. Some people, it takes longer, some, it like take temper, longer in like, life to do that. Like and that's not a black thing. It's an everybody thing. There's poor white people in this country, too. Do you not forget that? Most people on food stamps are white. Most people incarcerated are white. Most people in the country are white. Most people get killed by police are white. Most, most everybody in this country is white. What so is what, exactly. So if most people in this country are white and if most people in this country are poor, there is no systematic racism. They don't get a head up. They don't get a leg up. Like if this country is so against black people, why are there poor white people? Doesn't make sense. What, what I'm does saying, that, what does what that I'm statistic saying is, have to do with anything? That if poverty was just was just relocated to black people, it would only be black you people. You talking that are on poor. a script? I can't wait. All right, come on, next person. Yeah, and you see, this is exactly why. I don't think I'm going to send my kids to college. Dude lost the argument and walked off. That's the mentality of these people. It really is. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yo, huge shout out to Officer Tatum doing your thing out there. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.